Hi. In these days, people have a state of fear or phobia of the collapse of the cryptocurrency platforms, and this is precisely after what happened to the collapse of the FTX platform, many people became worried, and these days, rumors began to spread that the same thing could happen to Binance. But the Binance platform is not any platform, so we will not be able to say that Binance is like FTX or like other platforms. Because it almost has a very high correlation with encrypted currencies, of course, cryptocurrencies before Binance had prices, and after Binance, they have completely different prices. Cryptocurrencies have increased significantly since 2017, the year of the establishment of the Binance platform. This was because it opened the way for all people who want to make cryptocurrencies to find a place to put their currencies in. I mean, in the period of 2017, there were new cryptocurrencies still in their stages of incorporation, and Binance was created to support these currencies, and indeed the Binance platform along with the mere creation of these projects began to gradually enter the platform. Of course, all these projects were paid for with money, I mean, if people remember the IKO projects that we used to hear about back in 2017 and 2018, the goal of the project was to buy the token, so the currencies that were placed on the Binance platform at that time were currencies that had market caps or market value, so it makes a lot of money on the Binance platform. At that time, many whales began to appear, meaning when Binance was established, there were many whales with a very large amount of liquidity, and they entered the platform with it. That is why the Binance platform rose to very high levels in record time and began to reach number one in the evaluation of platforms, whether on CoinGecko or on CoinMarketCap, accordingly. The collapse of the Binance platform will be a very difficult thing, because as we said that Binance is supported by many people, so these people did not allow the collapse of the Binance platform, because if it collapsed, surely these people, their interests will also collapse with the digital currencies. And of course, the collapse of Binance at that time, I can tell you that digital currencies will indeed collapse with it often. Well, let's talk about a quick analysis of Bitcoin and see where is the world going at this time. Because many people ask that we do not know whether the price will increase or not. Well, now, is it the time to buy or the time to sell? Now we will clarify these matters and we will understand and I will make you the one to answer whether it is the time to buy or the time to sell. But in the period we are in, it is a very dangerous period, and the market is not regular, except that cryptocurrencies are very dangerous currencies, and investing in them can lead to losing all your money. You must be aware of the risks that you may face inside cryptocurrencies. Now let's talk and see some of the price of Bitcoin today, it is about $18,387, and then immediately a decision by the US Federal Reserve to raise the interest rate to half a percent, immediately after that there was a very strong drop in the price of Bitcoin, and it reached the lowest point, and after that the decline continued until it reached $16,250. Of course, Bitcoin sales increased dramatically, and this was not expected. Of course, according to the expectations and analyzes of some analysts, the Bitcoin price is supposed to rise very high in the year 2023. But we always say that external events occur that can affect Bitcoin and change all the calculations that you calculated. Now, in the current period, as we see, there are also signs that indicate that the price of Bitcoin is currently still continuing to decline, but on the contrary, a new wave of decline will begin, which may be more severe than the one before it. I do not say this without evidence, nor do I say this to frustrate you. But the clear signs on the chart, such as the MA cross signal, say that we have a bearish signal, and also the parabolic SRR signal, also it says that this is a bearish signal, and also the CCI says that there is a possibility of a trend reversal, of course, all of this affected very much on cryptocurrency, and this will also lead to a decrease in the rest of the other currencies or alternative currencies. Of course, with the decline of Bitcoin, all alternative currencies will also decrease, so all of this will have a very negative impact on the alternative currencies. For now is not the time to buy long term. But it is for a short term purchase, meaning anyone who wants to buy should not buy for a long term period, I mean now the purchase will be in a very small percentage, so that I will buy, for example, today, and tomorrow when the price rises, I will sell again. The current period still has a very large percentage of risk, because the market is not stable, but we have very strong vibrations, and other than that, as we said at the beginning of the video, there is a state of fear facing investors, which is that the platforms start to close or collapse. We are in a very difficult stage in cryptocurrencies. This was today's analysis of crypto or Bitcoin in particular, and I hope that in the upcoming periods there will be excellent increases.
And that's it, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and support us with a like.